Hey, it's Patrick from JMP Cycles, and I'm going to show you how to make a shifter pawl adjustment on an Evo Sportster. Now, a couple of questions come up right away. One, what is a shifter pawl? And two, why would I want to do that? A shifter pawl, roughly speaking, is the mechanism inside your primary that when you hit the shift lever actually shifts the bike. The reason why you'd want to adjust it is if you're having trouble shifting your bike or having trouble getting the shifter to return. So if you're having shifting issues with your bike, there's a good chance it's not your actual transmission that is just this adjustment. You're gonna need a couple of things to do this. You're gonna need a new primary gasket and a quart of primary fluid. Now, we already have our mid control taken off and our shifter taken off, but now we're gonna need to drain this fluid and get this primary cover off here to get started. So the drain plug is underneath here and it'll take a three quarter inch socket to get that out of there. So our next step, we need to loosen this clutch cable with a 9 16th and a half, put all the slack you can in it. And with a 5 30 second Allen, we're gonna pull off the derby cover. So a little tip is to keep pressure on this plate. There's actually a spring underneath there. If you're not holding on to this, it'll kind of kick the cover off. So the next thing we need to do is take this spring and little keeper nut off, and then we're gonna take a flat bladed screwdriver and drive the screw all the way down in there till the nut that's holding it comes out into our hand. Now we have to pull the clutch actuation part out of here. Then we're gonna have to turn this 180 to get it to slide off of this little jobber here and get us off of our cable. So before we pull the primary cover off, you need to loosen up the shoe that keeps tension on the primary chain in there. This is a 7 8 nut. Just gonna break it loose and drop it down a little. So now I'm gonna take a 3 16 Allen. I'm gonna pull all of our cover screws out and pull this primary cover off. Now, a couple things to note here. I like to make a little cheat sheet out of cardboard to keep track of where all my screws go. You may have to tap on it or something to get it come loose. And remember, the clutch cable is still going to be attached. So you have to tuck it up under the front of the bike or something because that clutch cable is still going to be attached to it. So our next step is to take the inner workings of our primary out here. And that's our comp sprocket and our entire clutch assembly. So the first thing we need to do is get a hold of this snap ring inside here and pull it out. We need a good set of snap ring pliers and then our push rod mechanism will come out and expose the bolt we need to get to. Okay, now the next step is kind of a big one. We have to take the um, comp sprocket and clutch basket off. And to do that, we have to take these two big nuts here off. There's a couple things to know about this. They're torqued to an immense amount, both of them. And this one is reverse thread meaning we're actually going to go righty tighty to get it to loosen up. You're gonna need a little metal bar of some sort to jam in here to get these to come loose. You're gonna need an inch and 3 16 socket for back here. An inch and eighth socket for up here. Now this is magnetized here, so it's not gonna act like it wants to come off. You grab here, you're just probably gonna lose a fingertip. Just give it a little juice and it'll come off. Voila. This is the shifter pawl itself. It's holding on to that shift drum there. And as you rock this back and forth with your foot, it shifts the shift drum back and forth. Our bike's in third gear, and we have to loosen these two 7 16 nuts. Now, one thing to check is if these are worn out and loose when they're already tight, you need to replace them. You have to slide a drill bit in this hole underneath the shifter pawl. Now, not just any drill bit, this has to be a 5 30 second drill bit or a number 32 or .116. They're all the same thing. So you can see the shifter pawl moving up and down off that pin. You basically want to lift this up, slide that in there, and then let it lay 
on that drill bit, just like that. And then we're gonna tighten these back up to in between 90 and 110 inch pounds. So now we're gonna put our clutch basket and comp sprocket on here. Remember, there's a magnet up there. So this goes on, it's gonna snap down. It might get your fingers. We're going to use red Loctite on both of these. We're gonna to torque the comp sprocket from 190 to 210 foot-pounds. The first thing that goes in is this washer and actually says out on it. So you wanna make sure the part that says out is facing out. The clutch hub nut, we're gonna to torque to 70 to 80 foot-pounds and don't forget, this is a reverse threat. So we're gonna slide our clutch piece in here, line up the tabs, and we're gonna put our snap ring in, and we can put our clutch cover on. Never goes that easy. So now we're gonna put our new gasket on. We're gonna put our primary cover on. You'll probably have to hold your primary chain up over the shoe when you go to put this on. We're gonna put the screws back in the holes they came out of. We're gonna tighten them in a crisscross pattern and torque them anywhere from 80 to 110 inch pounds. We're gonna clean our drain plug off. We're gonna put it back in and torque it to 14 to 21 foot pounds. At this point, we need to fill our primary with 32 ounces of primary and chain case lubricant. We got our inspection cover off here. We're gonna make our chain adjustment. And since this is the cold motor, we're gonna want about 3 8 to a half inch slack in here. Put our inspection cover on and we'll torque these from 40 to 60 inch pounds. So we're gonna hook our clutch actuator back to our cable, put this in, and then we need to adjust our clutch. We have a video on how to do that, and I'll link you guys to it. We're gonna put our derby cover back on, torque these down to 90 to 110 inch pounds. Like I mentioned before, if you need help with the clutch adjustment, I'll drop a link in there for you. Otherwise, you're all done. You have a brand new slick shifting Sportster. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop us a comment. Go ride that motorcycle.